Uh, but I went to work for KWN, and every minute I was there, Eric, I had my eye. You mentioned the nighttime. I had my eye on the nighttime because while 50,000 watts goes out and covers, you know, Las Vegas, which is great, uh, after that it's just cactus. But, ha-ha, at night, even though slightly directional, KWN covered 13 states at night. 13 states. So... Now, that would be regarded as a clear channel station, right? Uh, as close as you can get. There really aren't any exact clear channels left, but yes, uh-huh, that's right. And um, every night at sunset, we would have to uh, throw a couple of switches and go directional. I think we were protect protecting uh, WGN in Chicago. Uh, by the way, Eric, I, I can't tell you how many nights I came within I actually had my finger on the button I, I, I worked at KWN Eric for a total of 10 years I worked uh, late nights I came to work at about 10 o'clock at night um, I would go on the air uh, at 1 o'clock in the morning and I'd frequently be on the air until 6 o'clock in the morning doing talk radio and again in the beginning it was absolutely uh political. So I did that for a long time um, and really, really, really enjoyed myself and did very well uh, in the ratings. But I, just for the hams out there, I thought I'd tell you, Eric, there were about 10 or 15 times that I actually went over to the console, put my finger on the switch that would turn us non-directional because I wanted to see if I could get calls from other parts of the country. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I came within just that much of turning that baby non-directional. I can't tell you how many times, but, you know, I was in mortal fear of the Federal Communications Commission, and I'm, I was sure they would come marching in and chop my head off within minutes. So I never did do it. I'm kind of still sorry I didn't, frankly. Um, so what happened, Eric, is here I am, pretty successful doing this nighttime show, uh, being heard across the 13 states as advertised, getting a lot of calls. And one day I got bored with politics. And, ah, not another night, not another five hours of politics. Oh, no. So I had a friend. Uh, you may have heard the name or know the name Lear, um, as in Learjet? Well, John Lear is the son of the man who put together and owned Learjet, John Lear. And John has some unusual ideas about virtually everything, including UFOs, including um, Area 51 that I'm very close to uh, as I speak to you right now, uh, and the things that have gone on out there. 